Hi everyone, my name is Victor Nunes and I'm a Senior Solutions Engineer here at Particle. And today I want to give you a brief overview uh, on some of the ways that Particle enables customers to apply data privacy controls in the system that helps you enforce granular control over the flow of data depending on those consent preferences that the user has stated um, at different points throughout their journey. And the main thing I will say is that MParticle is able to record consent at the user level, and it will look something like this request right here in these details. And then you can apply that consent by using foreign rules to control data flows. You can control the way that events flow from MParticle into other destinations, and you can also use consent as part of your audience criteria before you decide to sync user information downstream to those other destinations. Uh, you can either suppress or allow those data flows based on those rules that you set up in here. I also want to briefly mention that we have a really powerful integration with OneTrust that allows you to map cookie groups to MParticle consent and you know just apply that to the user profile as well. And lastly, I want to touch on the fact that and Particle can um, help you fulfill different data subject requests and that the flow looks like what you see in this diagram. There are a few other things to take uh, into account, like you know, Apple app tracking transparency that we fully support through our iOS SDK, across a bunch of other ways that we you know, uh, enable customers to stay compliant with you know, different regulations and and uh, updates to different mobile OSs as well. But I just wanna go into the UI and show you really briefly how you can do this. So you see that we have an integration with OneTrust, which you can see right here and can enable, but I actually just wanna jump straight to a profile because I showed you that consent is stored at the user level. So I wanna look for a specific email address in this case. And I'm gonna select email here, and I'm gonna look at a specific profile that I've stored, con that I've sent consent purposes into. So you see that we have the user information here, we have the device IDs and user attributes. And if I sp keep scrolling near the bottom, you have the consent and compliance tab. In this case, we have you know the different purposes, regulations the status of the consent and the timestamp associated to it. You can use all of this, um, like I said before, as part of your forwarding rules and audiences to control those data flows uh, to different systems. So I can go in here and go into connections and let's, let me just give you an example. I'm gonna select all my users from iOS that are gonna flow into, let's say, S3. I can click on forwarding here and compliance. And I'm gonna add a forwarding rule that says, I only wanna forward data for my iOS users into S3 when users have given consent on their GDPR, and here's you know different regulations, for the purpose of analytics. I can hit save, and right away, we'll only start forwarding data for those users that have provided consent. Um, that's one way to do it. You can also use our filters uh, to control precisely which data points and which consent states are gonna flow downstream to different partners. And like we said before, you can also build audiences and use consent as part of your criteria for sending data downstream. And that's it. That is uh, the demo that I wanted to give you on you know, data privacy controls through a particle. Thank you.